What's going on everybody? This is Ian Robinson and today we're going to be covering some new features for Redshift inside of ZBrush. The features that we're going to be covering today are AOV passes and denoising. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I have a render that I'm working on inside of ZBrush and this is actually a model that ships with ZBrush called ZBrush Pro Projects. If you open up the light box here at the top by either clicking this button or hitting the comma key, you can actually find this project here under this Pro Projects folder. Double click that and the scene is here. So in previous versions, if you were to come up here to the render tab and let's dock this on the left hand side by just clicking this button over here and dragging it. And by clicking Redshift Render, you can actually see that we have Redshift activated. But now we actually have a new tab underneath that called Redshift AOV Passes. And as you can see here, I have multiple render passes available to me now with the Redshift option inside of ZBrush. We have our Beauty Pass, Shadows, SSS, GI, Background, Depth, Bump Normal, Diffuse, Reflection, World Position, and Refraction. All these passes can be toggled on or off by simply clicking the button you want to turn them on or off, or we can click All to activate all of the render passes, or click All again to deactivate all the render passes. Once we have selected the AOV passes that we would like to have for our render, all we need to do is come up here to the top and click Render. Once the render is complete, you can now see that I have some of these render passes active and ready for us to use for our final composite. In order to save out any of these AOV passes, all you need to do is simply click on the actual AOV pass you would like to export and it will pop up a new window. And from here, you can go ahead and save that however you wish. We can save a JPEG, PSD, PNG, a bitmap, or a TIFF file. Once you have the proper file format that you would like to save, all you need to do now is go ahead and click Save. And it will pop up a window, especially if it's using a JPEG like this. And we can go ahead and say OK. And now that render pass is saved, and you just repeat that with the other render passes you would like to export. Another new feature is actually denoising. So if we go ahead and close the AOV passes and open up the menu below it called denoising, you can see here that there are some render passes specifically designed for denoising. So we want to go ahead and turn on the render passes that we would like to have. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click All. And then we need to go back up to Redshift Renderer and actually turn on progressive rendering. Progressive rendering will allow denoising to be activated. And from here now, we can actually speed up our render by increasing the threshold as desired or increasing or decreasing the progressive iterations. So in this case, I can actually drop my progressive iterations down. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and turn off denoising just to do a demonstration. And let's also zoom in a little bit. So I'm just going to zoom in just so we can kind of see the difference. And again, denoising is turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit render. And now you can see here that we actually have a render completed, but it is actually pretty noisy. So we would like to clean this up. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on denoising and we're going to hit render one more time. And with that, our render is done, and you can see that there's a major difference between the denoising option turned on versus turned off. So as you can see, that helped clean up the file quite nicely, and this is a great way to go ahead and actually adjust your render times using progressive iterations or error threshold in order to get a nice clean render. That's going to go ahead and wrap up the video for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one. Happy ZBrushing!